What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if we should be excited for Far Cry 6. So this is going to kind of kick off my Far Cry series of, of videos I'll be doing over the next several weeks. You know, we'll talk about a couple different aspects of the game and then also cover the game uh, when it comes out. I am planning on buying it. I, I, I say that kind of like my voice goes up and down because I'm, I think I'm 100% sure I'm getting it, but I feel like I can still be swayed. I guess part of the thing I want to talk about in this video is I have been underwhelmed from pretty much everything I've seen. And, and, and that's a really tough thing to say. I don't want to come across like super negative or super like anti Far Cry, right? I don't want you guys to leave 30 seconds in the video, but like I do want it. I do want this game. And I've said, you can go back and look, I've said countless times over the past, probably like six to eight months, I have always wanted to like this franchise. And there are these franchises throughout my life that for whatever reason, whether they're good quality, you know, franchises or not, I've never been able to kind of, you know, I, like I'll give them a chance. And I'm just never hooked. Far Cry is one of those Dishonored, which is a commonly, you know, really highly looked upon game. Those are two that come to mind almost immediately of franchises that for whatever reason, they just do not get me. And maybe Far Cry, it's because it's like the first person shooter mixed with what I do like in like the open world and the immersiveness and just all of these different things to do and activities and side quests and just all, all of this stuff and stuff that I really enjoy. But maybe I enjoy it only third person. Like maybe that's it. Or maybe it's just not like a like I'm not like a shooter kind of guy as much as I am maybe like a, a, a sci fi or like a fantasy, like a witcher kind of thing. Right. Maybe that's why, you know, I, I honestly I really don't know. I've played Far Cry three. I've played Far Cry four for whatever reason. I just can't get into it. And that's, you know, again, why I want to make this video of like, should we be excited? Because I would say, and I, I don't think I'm alone in this, Far Cry 6, I do think has kind of been very up and down. Um, Giancarlo, right? I, he's an amazing guy, amazing actor, seems like, right? Uh, and, you know, I'm really, really happy he's in this game. That first trailer got me. I mean, it was CG, and I think it was, well, it was even more than CG. We've kind of seen the CG in the game. That trailer, the first trailer, when he's like teaching his son with like the grenade at the end, that was like, next level you know kind of stuff like the first initial thing to get you hyped for it i mean that got me because it's like how can you go wrong with him as basically your primary villain you know what i mean you i mean they've had insanely and i would say this even though I, again i haven't really connected with the games like Voss, like these are amazing villains that they i guess one specifically but they've had really solid ones you know even besides just him uh, but you know they've done a really good job so i'm happy with that 100 percent but even that, like, you know, you look at the visuals of what we've seen so far in the game, and it's very up and down. I think some of the gunplay and the, like, moment-to-moment uh, -moment kind of gameplay stuff does look, like, really good. It, it, you know, it doesn't look like the best thing I've ever seen, but it definitely is, like, higher quality. But then you see some of the cutscenes, and it's like, there's just something with their face. And a lot, I, I've seen, I mean, I've... I've co-streamed, uh, I think I've tried to, like a lot of the Ubisoft shows that they've done over the last little while where we've seen Far Cry, and pretty much any time I talk about this game, I always see that, or I've seen in like the live stream, you know, comment section of people, are, people are like, what's with the graphics of these cutscenes, like with their faces, like just something kind of seems off with them, and that's... I, I see that. Now, does that ruin it for me? No. But the issue I have is, is again, like, and it's just maybe it's a me situation, and that's fine. But, like, I'm on the cusp. You know what I mean? I want to buy it. It comes out in October. It's really the first big game, in my opinion, of October. But, like, right after it, there's just a wave of, I mean, October 15th has, like, three different games coming out. Battlefield comes out in October. Uh, House of Ashes, of people care, which I don't, Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, there's a lot of games, and there's games for a lot of different kinds of people. Like, these are not all just the same kind of game. So there's a lot of games in October. So although I want to buy this, you know, I, I, I'm unsure. And, like, you know what I mean? Like, and, and Far Cry's just never gotten me before, and I want this to be the one that I get into. I want this to be the one that gets me and says, okay, Alex, you've never really enjoyed it or you've never really connected, but this is going to be the one that like, is going to like 100% get you. You know what I mean? So that's, uh, I want that, but whenever I see even something like mild, it, 
you know what I mean? It's mild maybe to some, but like it makes a big impact when you're kind of on the fence about something. You know what I mean? So visuals is kind of one thing. Uh, the gameplay still doesn't like 100% get me. Then you had, I would say, the biggest thing, which I've kind of come around to, is over the last couple weeks, like, oh, like what, maybe two weeks ago, uh, kind of media got a chance to play an okay amount. Well, actually, I think you could have played it. I think it was like a four-hour segment that people were allowed to play. Some people couldn't play it. Like, I think the Rad Brad couldn't actually play it. So they played it for him, and they gave him the footage, which I actually think is very, very weird. And that does happen, but it's just odd. But anyway, people got to play it, right? And a lot of, like, the mainstream journalists, which I don't listen to anyway, they had... Not the greatest things I would say to say about the game. And I feel like some of that has to do with political stuff. Like it or hate it, this game has politics in it. And also like it or hate it, I fully believe, you know, the, the gaming journalists, we've talked about how I feel about them in the past. They want you to go all in or I guess maybe not even at all. Like don't have politics in your game whatsoever. And that's kind of what they've done to Far Cry. Again, maybe because it's Ubisoft, whatever, but taking that stance of, you know, if you're going to do, so, like, is it a political game, Ubisoft? And they say, well, kind of, but we don't really want to, you know, go all the way. We kind of want this to make this game, you know, inviting to all people, which is kind of, like, nice to do. Like, I don't mind those kind of answers, honestly. Like, Ubisoft does a lot of horrible, terrible stuff. I don't really mind those political answers, uh, but IGN, Kotaku, all the, they hate that. kind. You know, that's the worst answer you could give them. So, I would say they hold a grudge over that. That's just maybe a conspiracy for me. I do think that's kind of backed up by evidence, but, you know, whatever. Basically, though, the reception was not the greatest, I would say, to the gameplay from them. I would say more of, like, the YouTube side, it was a little bit better received, where the game did look really good, the game played really good. So I would say the initial things I saw of the game from that, you know, wave of previews was not positive, which made me kind of scared because it's like, oh my god, I'm already on the fence. I'm not the biggest fan of literally the gameplay style. It's just not my thing. The the graphics, the visuals, it's not, you know, it's kind of up and down. Sometimes it looks amazing, sometimes it just looks weird. So it's like I'm on the fence and now they got a preview. You know, sometimes games will have the previews and it'll be like, oh my god, this is an incredible game. Let's just gush about it in this pre... And, and, you know, the game can still turn out to be bad or the game turns out to be good. But, like, you know, when you have a preview event and the game is not having good things said about it, that's not the greatest sign. But, again, that was just... That seemingly was the critics, the game, like the, the media, the gaming media, from the actual people that, you know, actually do like games and like other people, uh, you know, which is not what IGN and Kotaku is, they seem to actually like the game. So, all in all, I don't know. The answer to should we be excited for this game is I'm not sure. Uh, no, honestly, you know, you may know me, you may not know me, but my general opinion on a lot of this stuff is, is make your own decision. You know what I mean? You know, think for yourself. And you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. If you disagreed with any of the stuff I said, no problem. I, 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 don't, I don't resent you. I'm not kicking you off the channel. You let me know what you think in the comments. But, I, you know, I don't know if I'm, like, excited for it. That's the thing. That's the weird thing. I don't know if I have just this really big excitement in me. However, the way I am as a person, I do tend to get excited for things the closer we get to them. So, like, right now when I'm recording this, like, uh, you know, uh, Life is Strange comes out in just a couple days. Like, my excitement is at an all-time high. But ask, if you asked me three weeks ago, I would have said, eh. You know what I mean? Like, it's coming. Like, I'll get excited later. And maybe that's where I'm at with Far Cry. You know what I mean? It's like I'm still concerned about a lot of things. I'm not even sure if I'm going to like the game. And that's okay. You know, it's okay if you do or if you don't like it. But, you know, I'm kind of unsure where I'm at. But maybe that the hype kind of gets higher as the weeks go on. Still... I would even say with my with me basically talking to myself, that's what I do when I'm recording, right? I'm literally talking to a computer screen. Um, I don't think I convinced myself to not get the game, so I think that's a that's a pretty big thing. I think I'm still on board uh, of buying the game day one. So you guys will have to let me know, you know, what you think in the comments below. Are you excited for it? You want to pitch it to me? Go ahead. I'm I'm all ears. I always try to read the comments. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure as always you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. Like I said, I'm gonna you know. I'll cover Far Cry more as the weeks go on. If I do buy it, which I do plan to, uh, you know, we'll, we'll maybe live stream it. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I will cover it, you know, in videos once the game is out. If you guys want to follow us or support us in any of our other places, we have Twitter, we have a second YouTube channel, we also have Patreon and YouTube memberships. All of that stuff, the links are in the description below, okay? Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all on the next video.